morning and welcome back to the channel so it's now Saturday morning 9.30 and I'm on my way to go fishing I wasn't supposed to fish today I um, had a few plans and things I had to get to actually but yeah plans changed and yeah the day opened up so I thought, thought why not go spend some time then at Gnu Valley Farm again to see if I can catch anything there now the reason I'm going back is I've made some changes to my baiting approach and my hook bait and so on and um, I'll show you guys more on that when I get to the venue I hope it's not too busy and the spots are open but if it is I'll just have a walk around and see if there's anywhere that I can maybe drop a rig or something close by so yeah, um, hopefully I catch something today I'm not fishing for the whole day um, go leaving early I'll probably leave about 3 30 um, to get home we're going to the movies tonight so yeah let's see what happens here I go on my way to Gnu Valley Farm Okay, so the rods are finally in. Um, when I got here to the venue, my usual spot, um, there's bass fishermen set up in my spot and they in and out with the pontoon there the whole time. So I'm not gonna go in between them or anything. I'm respecting them, They've, they're in the spot, even though they're not fishing in that margin spot, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, I had a long walk around. Um, started off in the right-hand corner on the other side and yeah i saw one of the koi's there and some smaller carp as well but there's not a lot of open spots so yeah it makes it a bit difficult and the ducks are also always in that corner and i know they're going to clean out my bait so i had a walk around to the exactly opposite from where i usually fish now my rods are out here and i'll explain to you why now so you'll remember in my previous video I showed you guys that photo of the guy that caught the uh, the big grass carp here now since last week I am I've actually met him in person <laughs> his name is Rudy um, he was actually a bit disgusted that I act that I didn't show his face but I told him yeah but I didn't know you didn't have permission or anything so yeah um, but here is his photo again now you can see his face his name is Rudy and then he was the guy that actually caught that big grass carp um, so yeah, so we had a, a long talk about Gnu Valley and so on and they were actually here the day just after me So I was here on the Saturday. They came through on the Sunday. They said uh, their setup was in the same spot But they were actually able to take the pontoons out and they came all along the dam wall and Look to see if they could find open spots um, because there's always carp here right next to the dam wall and they found two um, so I had a walk around on the dam wall as well and you can actually see one of the open spots it's it's not too far from the side look it was a long flick uh, to get it out and it took me um, two tries to get it there but I it's there it's in that open spot and it's there now that rods out on a sweet corn and a PVA mesh mixed with some um, some all like some other baits as well I'll show you that later um, but yeah, so rods are out there. Um, I'll show you now. You can see in this clip, you can see the open spot. Um, it's my bait is right on the edge of that open spot. So yeah, I'm happy with where that is. Then my left hand rod is uh, closer in, um, closer to the margin. It's not really in an open spot. But what what I did do is I used a pop up, but I made it you know pop up very high so that if it lands in the weed that that pop-up is just above the weed and it just settles there but also out of the same bait on the other side so let's see what happens i'm not very optimistic with that one but it's there it's out so yeah there are some carp circling here as well and believe it or not the white koi as well 
I think the guys on that side with the pontoon have uh, chased it over to this side. So I'm happy about that. It's already circling here. But I'm not optimistic about catching that thing or any that one at all. But if I catch it, awesome. Okay, so yeah, those are my setups for today. It's now 20 past 11. I'm fishing until 3, half past 3. So yeah, let's see what happens. Hopefully... Hopefully I catch something. That would be awesome. Okay, but let's carry on back to the rods. Okay, so here's my hook bait for today for the one rod. It's still two fake maize, um, but these maize are a lot smaller. They're actually the size of an actual sweet corn and they're sinking. Um, they're not floating um, fake maize, so they're sinking fake maize. They're soft as well. So this is going to be on the one rod um, with the hope that you know, that I can trick them so that they think this is actual maize. Um, like I said in my previous session, those the floating two fake maize, which is a lot bigger, they literally just swim around it. They don't go near it. So hopefully um, this does the trick. Nee, moet het niet af te komen. Okay, that sucks. Um, had a run on the right hand rod it wasn't a big take or anything but it was on um, I could feel it tugging at the line and also see it swimming to the left but then your yeah, head shake and it came off um, that's unfortunate but it happens but yeah okay so there's it's now 2 p.m. so I've got about an hour hour and a half if I push it let's see what happens Okay, um, that sucks even more. <laughs> Two runs and yeah, second one that came off. But I think this one got caught in the grass and that's where um, it shook the, uh, it shook itself loose. So yeah, okay, but hour left, let's see what happens. Hopefully I get lucky again and this time I get to land it.
Oh, man. Okay, so finally landed one, long wait after two runs that I lost, I finally got one, so it's th third time lucky, it's not the biggest one, but it's, it's quite an amazing specimen, uh, it's small but the colors on it is amazing, it's really really very bright, the head is almost like it's you know, it's got a little bit of koi in it um, it almost looks like it makes me think more of a goldfish than, than a carp actually but yeah okay so here it is third time lucky and it just shows that the change in hook bait worked and here we are nice bright little common just awesome look at those colors it's almost like it's glowing in the sun <laughs> yeah i'm very chuffed with this awesome ah, there you can see it okay i'm just admiring it a little bit before i put it back yeah yeah <laughs> okay i'm gonna take a few photos and then i'm gonna put it back okay okay so that's the session done and I'm on time it's now half past three and I need to leave so that last one came just in the nick of time yeah okay so yeah um unfortunately unfortunately I lost those, those two early in the day but it was all worth it with that last catch um, it was really I mean uh, I think when it comes to how pretty a carp is I think that's probably the prettiest carp I've ever caught um, with the colors on that one um, it's not big it's small but it's fine um, it's just in anything I catch here at Gnu Valley I'm more than pleased with yeah okay so yeah I'm gonna pack up now well leave now I've already packed up I did mention earlier to you guys that um, what is it now uh, I've, some of the bait that I've been using today. Um, last time I was at um, Brookwood Trout Farm, um, I saw there in their shop they have these, uh, also from Apex Baits. Um, I was actually unaware that they made baits as well. Um, and I found this, it's a, a millibomb booster, but it's a mixture of, you know, uh, this sweet corn in it, this pellets, this some crushed stuff it looks like yeah crushed me uh, millis as well and so on yeah so i used this today um with that sweet corn from the can and it worked well so yeah i'm very happy with it so yeah okay that's the session um i have to leave now i need to get home take a shower and then it's off to the movies 
so yeah guys from my from me thank you very much for watching really appreciate it um till next time cheers